Hello viewers, welcome to Physics with Sanmitra. I am Sanmitra Bhomik and in this lecture series on special theory of relativity, today we are going to discuss about relativistic kinetic energy. Now, let's say about classical physics. Let's talk about classical physics. What was, what did you learn about kinetic energy? Kinetic energy, let's say it was the work done that is the work done is change in kinetic energy work energy theorem this is dp by dt that is a change in momentum into dx now there is dx by dt i can take it as v so dp into v so that is my rate of change of momentum into v so exactly by that way we can calculate the kinetic energy or also rather we can write d since p is equal to mv we can write dp as m was constant mostly there so m into dv mostly we can write that so if, if it is m into dv we can take m common v dv so it was half m v square in classical physics we had the luxury of taking m as constant because since velocity was very very less than c since the rest mass we could have assumed that mass is equal to rest mass but in case of relative, relativistic uh, velocities, the mass actually is not constant, but it varies with speed of uh, speed as m is equal to m naught, that is the rest mass, by one minus root over one minus v squared by uh, m m naught by root over one minus v squared by c squared, where this is the rest mass. This is called m naught is called the rest mass. That is the mass of the object when v is equal to 0 and m is the actual mass. Now, in this case, we cannot take out m as constant, but we have to integrate it in, a, in this fashion. Let's see. Integration of, I am writing integration of p into dv. Here, integration of p into dv. Now, what is p? p is my, I can write, mass into velocity, m into v into dv. But here, I cannot take out m outside because this mass is actually, this mass is actually a function of velocity. So, I have to uh, substitute the actual value, m naught, by root over 1 minus v squared by c squared, v into dv. This is what I'll be getting. Now, let's remove this. So, kinetic energy K, that will be, I'll be taking out M0 and we will be writing V into dV by root over of 1 minus V squared by C squared. Now, if I integrate it from 0 to V, what will I get? I'm directly writing the result. Kinetic energy, if I substitute everything, I will get m c square divided by 1 minus v squared by c square minus of m c square this is the expression of kinetic energy what we get now let's look at the each term this first term and this is the second term this m c square what does it signify i think many of you have guessed it right that is e is equal to m c square this is known as the rest mass energy rest mass energy e is equal to mc square what is actually m here m is m naught that, that should have been actually m naught m naught c square so my kinetic energy expression i am rewriting that is m naught c square divided by 1 minus v squared by c square minus of m naught into c square this m naught c square that is called the rest mass energy and this term is responsible for the increase in kinetic energy. See, this V increases, this whole term decreases, and this is in de denominator, therefore, this term increases. So, that's all for this video. And uh, let me give you a problem. Let's see how many of you solve this. A particle that is having mass of, say, 5 into 10 to the power minus 28 
into the power minus 28 kg it is moving with a speed of 0.85 c find kinetic energy by number one classical approach that is half mb square and number two is the relativistic approach assume c is equal to 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so please uh, please find out the answer and mention it in the comments so that's all for this lecture if you like our content then please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon